Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this regularly scheduled council meeting of Monday, June 14th. I'm calling this meeting uh, to order. Uh, for uh, those of you who are joining us through Hartford Public Access TV, you could watch us on Facebook Live, Channel 96 through Comcast, and Channel 6032 through Frontier. Uh, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Present. Councilman Clark. Present. Councilman Gale. Here. Councilman LeBron. Here. Councilman Mishtam. Here. Councilwoman Rosado. Present. Councilwoman Zetti. Here. Councilman Sanchez. Present. Councilwoman Surgeon. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And now our town clerk will lead us on to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the nation which it stands, one nation, indivisible, under God, liberty, justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we approve the minutes of the uh, May 24th, 2021 meeting. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussion on the minutes? There be a none. Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we uh, suspend the rules to walk on the following items. Uh, this item would be item number 17, Mayor Brunner with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant of $128,500 from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving to fund a portion of Love Hartford, a new initiative that broadens our efforts to give residents and community groups the opportunity to beautify their neighborhoods. Uh, item number <clears throat> 17 uh, is a resolution calling for uh, the Hartford City Council to urge President Biden to take policy, the policy initiated by President Obama to build a new cooperative relationship between the United States and Cuba. And item uh, number 18, uh, which would be Spinnaker Real Estates LLC uh, DBA SREP Hartford 1 LLC uh, to propose to adaptively reuse and convert a historic property located at 55 Elm Street into residential apartments and commercial space. Second the motion. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk. Can you please please, Madam President, can uh, Majority Leader restate those, please? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, sure. Item number 17 would be Mayor Bronin with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant of $128,500 from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving to fund a portion of Love Hartford, a new initiative that broadens our efforts to give Hartford residents and community groups the opportunity to beautify their neighborhoods. Oh. Item number uh, 18 uh, would be the a resolution by Hartford City Council urging President Biden to retake the policy initiated by President Obama to build a new initiative, new cooperative, sorry, to build a new cooperative relationship between the United States and uh, Cuba. And item number <clears throat> 19, uh, Spinnaker, a resolution by Mayor Bronin uh, for Spinnaker Real Estate Partners LLC, DBA, SREP Hartford 1 LLC to propose to adaptively reuse and convert a historic property located at 55 Elm Street into residential apartments and commercial space. Thank you. Second the motion. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There be a none. Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. 
Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I yield my time to Councilman LeBron. Councilman LeBron, you have the floor. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to reconsider item number two from the June 7th special council meeting the, uh, regarding the food truck ordinance. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez? Yes. Councilman Clark? Yes. Councilman Gale? Yes. Councilman LeBron? Yes. Councilman Mitchum? Yes. Councilman Rosado? Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti? Yes. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Councilman Mitchum, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Um, and I thank you also to my colleagues who, Councilman LeBron and the others who brought this forward. The reason that I had asked them to do that is because when we were debating the food truck ordinance last week, at one point, Councilman Sanchez called the question. We voted on that. We, with five of us voted for it of the eight present. Our rules say we need two thirds to pass a motion to call the question. We didn't have two thirds and we accidentally treated it as though the motion to call the question had passed. My concern was one that I had an amendment I wanted to propose and two that it exposed the city to some small risk that someone might come and say we didn't follow our own rules. So the ordinance wasn't properly adopted and get us into more of a mess of litigation. So I'd ask that it be brought back just so we could do everything by the book. So I thank everyone for doing that. And I move to amend by putting a time limit on the amendments to the ordinance. And I'll try to be clear on this so that a year from the date that the ordinance is adopted, these amendments would end and the ordinance would go back to the way it was before. That is my motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? Councilman Sanchez. <laughs> Make sure my speak, my mic is on. So um, I appreciate uh, your, um, what you're trying to do, uh, Councilman McDum. I um, have, have mentioned and I will mention again that uh, this ordinance has been in the making of for two years. Uh, I believe it had reached uh, Councilman uh, uh, LeBron's committee approximately six months ago, approximate. And also, sorry. And also it's come to the council body uh, a few months ago. Um, there has been plenty of time um, to review this, uh, the map, and the uh, ordinance, uh, our development services has uh, worked on this immensely, uh, put in a lot of man hours into it. I, I know I've been engaged and so has many other um, administrative officials. Uh, I believe that to put a timeline on this new ordinance um, as amended would hinder the progress of this ordinance and how and what it's meant to do. Um, I do not see supporting this, but I can say that this ordinance can always be revisited. And I will assure you that I plan to revisit this ordinance come October uh, because I want to see what the results of it um, or how it affected uh, our communities, whether it's negative or positive, and if it can be amended at that time um, to just adjust it. So to give it a timeline to basically kill all the work that's been done, I think would be um, egregious to, to the work that development services has done. Um, so I don't see myself supporting that, but again, I do, uh, you know, I, I will assure you that I will be vi visiting it sooner than, than a year and that'll be at the end of the summer. Um, but anyone can always, uh, you know, look at it and bring it back to the table. Thank you. Thank you, Con Councilman Sanchez. Councilwoman Surgeon. Uh, thank you, through you, Madam um, President. Just a question for our attorney Rifkin. Just want to ask, um, with this amendment, uh, 
send this ordinance back through public hearing if the if this is a major change uh, to the ordinance by adding an expiration date on the ordinance. Uh, through you, Council yeah. President, it's my view that this would not be substantive, requiring it to go back to a public hearing. Um, thank you, um, Attorney Rifkin. Um, to you, um, Councilman Mitchum, I was gonna ask, uh, you know, we have been working on this. I remember uh, a year ago, um, got an email from someone in the, um, that lives in our city complaining about the noise, uh, can't go to sleep, uh, the food trucks, the messy uh, mess that they leave. And Councilman Sanchez uh, took it himself, uh, form an ad hoc committee with the administration and they've been working with this for several um, several months. Then a couple of months ago, this uh, ordinance came on the agenda. There were some I, there were some uh, issues with the ordinance, uh, which you know we worked with the administration. The first uh, committee meeting uh, of the Health and Human Services uh, with the administration, letting them know that uh, you know their recommendation was not um, what each community was looking for. Uh, talking about um, probably placing a you know food truck uh, area in the north or south of the uh, of the city, uh, I know Council uh, Councilman LeBron mentioned you know at the meetings you know exactly where the food trucks are placed because the kids may have to cross the street. So we've been working on this for uh, for several months now, uh, you know, and um, the committee meetings have been duly filed. And so I do agree with uh, Councilman Sanchez is, you know, we may not know how this is going to work, but this is a time of year when we need to do, uh, place something on the agenda, give the administration some tools to work with, uh, with this upcoming summer. So I am certainly willing, uh, you know, there are areas in my neighborhood um, that I'm sure the residents will come back and say it worked or it didn't work. So I'm definitely willing to go back, uh, you know, especially after the summer, uh, before the next, you know, spring, summer comes around in 22, to take a look at the ordinance and work with and give the administration some feedback. Because we are the ones that are getting the phone calls from the residents are saying, you know, this is working and this is not working. So I do hope to um, take a look at this, review this at the end of the uh, summer and uh, make recommendation if anything needs to be changed um, for, uh, for the following year. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilwoman Surgeon. Councilman Mitchum. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, through you to address uh, Councilwoman Surgeon's question. I, I, the, the intention is not to get rid of everything that has been worked on or to say that we shouldn't keep it longer only to force us to come back to the table within a year. Uh, and it was based on Councilman Bermudez's suggestion at the last, at the special meeting that this body, not any of us in particular, but this body has a tendency to, to let things sit and not come back to them. So my thought was, let's force us to come back within a year and either readopt the exact same thing or make it better in one way or another. Councilman Clark. Thank you, Madam President, through you. Um, uh, I I think that this is an important ordinance. I think that uh, yes, uh, you know, this council body uh, can have the tendency not to follow up on uh, certain provisions and policies that uh, we implement. I'm actually willing to uh, you know say to speak with my colleagues about after this summer's over to see assess uh, how this policy uh, has been implemented, the effects of it. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, collectively with the feedback. Uh, within six months, and then we can see how we can actually change some things. I, for one, uh, would like to see the like to see the city adopt the policy to actually have a destination for food trucks. Uh, I think all of us are familiar with the uh, destination of food trucks in the city of New Haven alongside the coastline, and I think that it would be very beneficial uh, for this council body to put a policy in place to work with the administration, development services to impl uh, implement a policy where there is a designation. Uh, we have park as a potential designation. Uh, well, right now there is, but let's try to see what land that the city actually owns or that can acquire 
uh, to make sure that we create a destination place uh, for food trucks. So that way we can have more food trucks uh, be in our city. We can have more traffic come into our city and providing patronage uh, to these food trucks and also to may be able to um, patronize other small businesses that may be surrounded by these food trucks. Thank you, Councilman Clark. Councilwoman Surgeon. Thank you, Madam President. I just want to um, definitely agree with Councilman Mitchum that you know we all have for our day-to-day -day, uh, work issue and also trying to remember um, to make sure you know we take a look at an issue. And also, you know, you know, things happen and you forget about this. So I totally understand and totally agree with you, uh, you know, that we really, you know, need to find a better way of, you know, addressing issues. Um, but to actually put that into ordinance right now, even though um, the uh, attorney of Michigan said there's no made a change to it, I just want to get something, you know, get this ordinance passed so the administration will have time to uh, start administering this because the longer we actually wait on this, um, the more we have more complaints we're having uh, from our community. So I, I pledge to actually uh, put a tickler, you know, on my things to do list, you know, to actually go back in September, October and review this, you know, I'm gonna ask, you know, Councilman LeBron to maybe have a, you know, a committee meeting of health and human services, you know, after the summer, uh, just to get an update of where we are, you know, what happened over the past summer, uh, and then, you know, take a look at this before, you know, you know, before next year, um, we may need to change uh, something or move, you know, different location around. And also uh, to you, uh, Mr. Majority Leader, you know, those were the two areas in the ordinance that took a look at a destination for food trucks. Um, one would have been in the north part of the city and in the south part of the city. And the administration are, are working on taking a look at um, how we can do so. And this ordinance allows them to take a look at this. So those issues are being addressed, sir. Councilwoman Bermudez. Oh, so thank you um, for you, Council President. I just want to mention, so it's now gonna be my sixth year on city council, moving into the sixth year along with um, a couple of other council colleagues. And in my time serving on city council, not just with, with this body, but also with the previous body, we, as has you know, as had been mentioned in the, in the other meeting, we haven't taken up an ordinance that we've approved. Um, and if you all believe that, yeah, if you have faith in that, then you have a lot mo more hope than I do. But I'm just going back from memory and from the actions that have, you know, that we've done as a council body. In fact, like even looking at how long it took to bring up the housing ordinance before the council body for it to be changed. And it was changed once and that's it. So um, that's what I'm going to say. And that's what I have to say. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, the public will be watching. Councilman Sanchez. I'm good. Is there Thank any you. other uh, discussion on this matter? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. A uh, po uh, point of uh, clarification, can we just let everybody know, remind us what we, uh, the amendment that we're voting on? The amendment is to, for the food truck ordinance to expire one year from adoption. Uh, no. Councilman Gale. No. Councilman LeBron. No. Councilman Michigan. Yes. Councilman Rosado. No. Councilman Rossetti. No. Councilman Sanchez. No, with the promise that I will, will be revisiting <laughs> it. Thank you. Councilwoman Surgeon. No, with that same promise. <laughs> Motion failed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And now we're back to the uh, motion uh, to reconsider item number two on the 
uh, substitute amended ordinance as amended um, from the meeting of uh, June 7th. Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Uh, Councilwoman Bermudez. No. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. No. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rosetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we place uh, these items on the consent calendar. Um, item number 10, Planning Economic Development and Housing Committee with a company resolution authorizing the acceptance of 600,000 from the State of Connecticut Department of Economic and Community Development for construction of North Main Street Scape. These funds are from the State Bond Commission and are being administered through uh, the Urban Act Grant. <clears throat> Item number uh, 12 is Health and Human Services Committee with the company resolution authorizing the City of Hartford's Department to uh, Department of Health and Human Services to receive $1.9 million uh, in funding and execute contracts and contract amendments with the State Department of Public Health through VEPF program, which is funding vaccine outreach in cities across the state. Item number 13, Health and Human Services Committee with company resolution requesting that the mayor's office to provide more uh, consistent administrative support dedicated to uh, translation services for Hartford's Puerto Rican, Latin, and Hispanic communities. Item number 14, resolution requesting that in recognition of Caribbean Americans and their significant contributions to building and sustaining our community observed June as National Caribbean American Heritage Month. Item number 15, the resolution requesting that the city of Hartford declares a climate emergency threat, that a climate emergency threatens our city, state, nation, and world commits to working to catalyze a just transition and climate mobilization effort at the local, state, national, and global levels. Item number 17, which is uh, Mayor Brony with a company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant of $128,500 from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving to fund a portion of Love Hartford, a new initiative that broadens our efforts to give residents and community groups the opportunity to beautify their neighborhoods. Item number 18, uh, which is a resolution urging President Biden to retake the policy initiated by President Obama to build a new cooperative relationship between the United States and Cuba. And item number 19, uh, which is a resolution <clears throat> uh, for tax fix and agreement of Spinnaker uh, Real Estate Partners LLC, DBA, SREP, Hartford, L Hartford One LLC to propose to adaptively reuse and convert a historic property located at 55 Elm Street into residential apartments and commercial space. Second the motion. The motion has been made and properly second. Um, Councilman Sanchez. Yes, I'd like to add my name to item number 14 and also on item number 15. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilman Sanchez. Councilman Gale. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. I'm not sure if this was an oversight or intentional, or maybe I missed it. I'm not sure I heard that item 11 was added to the consent calendar. Madam President, for you, item 11 uh, cannot be add, added to the consent calendar. It, uh, I will call it for action because there's an amendment that needs to be made. Thank you. Okay. So we are uh, withdrawing item number 11 from the consent calendar for the record. Councilwoman Bermudez. Thank you. Through you, Council President, um, I just wanted to speak to item number 14 and number 15. Number 14, the Caribbean American um, resolution, and then number 15, the climate emergency resolution. So in reference to number 14, I just wanted to say 
that when I was studying in Trinity College in my undergrad, um, I had the opportunity to study in the University of the West Indies in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, it was an amazing opportunity. And uh, as part of my undergraduate studies, my, one of my majors was Caribbean history So as a, as a, for my bachelor's. So I take great pride in that. And please include my name in item number 14 and in reference to number 15. Um, I do have a master's degree in environmental science and uh, environmental science is something that I'm very passionate about, especially when we're talking about issues of climate change and environmental justice. So please add my name to 14 and 15, thank you. Mr. Clerk, could you please add my name um, on all the items on the consent calendar, which my name is, is uh, not reflected on there to those resolutions, please? Mm -hmm. Councilman Mixtum. Thank you, Madam President. Also, please add me to 14 and 15. And I would just say, especially about uh, item 14, that I hope uh, there's a conversation of prop, a number of people here have had me heard me say, I hope that we'll, we'll carry this, um, this feeling of focusing and celebrating our Caribbean communities beyond just a month and really make it a centerpiece of how we promote the city. Because I think sometimes we try a lot to, to create things that we think are going to be like the other things we're going to compete with, whether it's like another, you know, middle brow American restaurant or a sporting event. And like we have something kind of magical and unique, which is that we're like a flourishing Caribbean city in the middle of New England. And I think we should be selling that 365 days a year. Thank you, Councilman Mishtam. Councilman LeBron? Yes, if all my, if my name could be added to everything on the consent calendar, please. Uh, through you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Surgeon? You're on mute. All right, thank you, ma'am. Not quite sure what the, what item number is regarding um, the the Cuban resolution for Councilman Sanchez, and I'm not sure what number that is. 18. Oh, 18. Okay, sorry. It was no added one. under suspension of rules. Yeah, but I, it, there was no numbers on oh. the, um, when it was sent over. Okay. Yes, please. Please add my name to 18. Are you all set, Councilwoman Surgeon? Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. Oh, Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Um, Councilwoman Rossetti. Thank you, through you, Council President. I just wanted to, um, for Resolution 15, um, and it had been in my committee some months ago, we had long extended meetings on it, and I was thankful for the participation. But I also wanted to give a shout out to the Office of Sustainability, who actually ended up helping us write that final resolution, and it was a very good um, collaboration with the department. So thank you. I just wanted to make sure they were recognized. Thank you, Councilwoman Rossetti. Councilman Clark. Thank you, Madam President. Um, through you, I would like to please add my name to items number uh, 15, uh, which is the climate resolution, and uh, item number um, 18, uh, which is the um, uh, Cuban embargo resolution. One moment, please. I just need to verify. Um, resolution number 12, that is the HHS vac vaccination, correct? Yes, yes it is. Uh, is there any other further discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Uh, yes, with the exception of item number 12, uh, I recuse myself from this vote. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. 
Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make a motion that we receive the following items. Item number six, Health and Human Services Committee. Communication concerning the annual report submitted on behalf of the Advisory Commission on Food Policy. For the City of Hartford, this annual report is mandated by City Ordinance and recounts the activities of the Commission for 2020. And item number eight, uh, which is a report from the Planning, Economic, Development, and Housing Committee with a company resolution adopting the City of Hartford's complete, complete streets plan. This plan will complement the bicycle plan and together these documents provide a guide for transforming our city streets. This plan reflects approximately a year of effort by members of the Complete Streets Task Force led by City Bike and Pedestrian Coordinator, Coordinator Sandy Fry. This plan has been unanimously endorsed by the Planning and Zoning Commission for the City of Hartford. Second. Councilman Gale. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. It, it, just it maybe a point of order. I'm, item number eight, besides being a report, as Majority Leader just read, it's resolution ready. I, I'm not sure I see a resolution anywhere else on this agenda, but it does strike me that we are able to take action uh, on this. It, like, like so many reports that come back from a committee, it's a report back from a committee on a resolution indicating that the committee voted favorably. I think the vote was four nothing uh, in favor of the, uh, the, the resolution was submitted by the mayor to begin with. So I, I, are we gonna actually vote on the resolution tonight as well as receiving the report? Or would, I, would you like me to make a, a motion to put it on for action or something? To get it Second. From received. I don't, I'm not sure what, what the procedure would be, but it does strike me we should be taking, we should be taking some action on it. Did you just make a motion? Second. Motion has been made and properly second. So I know the last time that, that this was in, in committee, um, it was postponed. I wasn't, I didn't attend the last committee. So you have discharged this from your committee, Councilwoman Surgeon? Uh, yes, it was discharged unanimously from the committee. Uh, so it should be back on the agenda, that item number. And I don't remember um, how long ago it was, it's been in committee but it did pass unanimously. It was on the February 22nd agenda. I had a number two on the February 22nd agenda. I remember it being on there, but we had some, Councilman Sanchez and I had some concerns. Those concerns were addressed at the committee meeting on June 14th. Okay. Uh, okay. And I okay. also okay. believe okay. Councilman uh, Sanchez uh, voted uh, favorably for it. So those issues were addressed and it did come out of committee un unanimously uh, to be implemented uh, by the city. Okay, so there's a, a motion and a second on the floor to move item number A to action. Uh, Councilman Sanchez. Yes, I believe it was sent to council favorably uh, for a consent calendar and not action. Um, if I may, council president. Sure. I don't think you have to move it for action and it wasn't moved for the consent calendar. It was just given a favorable recommendation. So my recommendation would be to take this item up when you take up items for action and remove it from the motion for receiving items. And you don't need to take a vote on that, I don't believe. Okay. Works for me, I'll, I'll be happy to withdraw any motion if that's the case. Okay, so, so what I am to you, Madam Council, what item will that be then on the agenda? Item number eight. Okay. It'll still be item number eight. We'll just move it to action. Okay. 
Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Yes. So Councilman Gale has withdrawn his motion. So we only have one item on the received calendar, correct? Correct. Okay. Are there any further discussions? Any further discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to uh, make the motion that we refer the following items to the said committees. Item number one, Mayor Bruner with the company resolution authorizing the city of Hartford to enter into a 10-year tax abatement agreement with Zion Park MF2 LLC to support affordable rental housing located at 602 and 608 Zion Street, 833-841-851 and 863 Park Street, Hartford, Connecticut, 06. 106 known as Zion Park Apartments uh, to the Operations Management Budget and Government Accountability Committee. Item number two, uh, to the Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with the hearing date of June 21st, 2021. Also uh, Planning and Zoning Commission uh, will see this item um, per the Connecticut General Statutes 824 for review which is Mayor Brunin with the company resolution that would authorize the sale of a blighted property at 213-215 Lawrence Street to Mr. Aaron Gill of Wolverine Property, LLC. As you may know, Mr. Gill is a committed local resident and developer and chair at the Frog Hollow Neighborhood Revitalization Zone. Item number three to the Labor Education Workforce and Youth Development Committee, which is Mayor Brunin with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Philip Wellman, uh, to the Hartford Stadium Authority and his resume uh, has been sent to uh, the council. Second the motion. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we postpone the following item until June 28th, 2021, which is item number seven, an ordinance amending chapter two, appointments of department head requirements, section 850, residency requirements of the municipal code. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? Councilman Gale? Um, I guess at some point there was the indication that we were going to also postpone item number nine, but is that not? No, oh, I didn't I didn't get get there yet, Councilman. I was about to let the council. Oh, pass. that's going to be a separate one. Okay, my apologies. Councilman Mixtum. Uh, through you, Madam President, a question for Corporation Council. I, having recently been looking at, at Robert's rules that govern our proceedings, it seems like when we postpone an item twice in a row, it's it's dead and it has to be brought back later. So like we don't, I thought we didn't, we wouldn't need to keep bringing it up and postponing it. We could just let it be. And then when we actually want to act on it, we can, maybe I'm misreading that, but that's why I'm asking through you, Council President, a motion to postpone indefinitely is the motion that kills the matter, not a motion to postpone. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we postpone uh, item number nine uh, until June 28th, 
2021, uh, which will have a hearing date of June 21st, 2021, and also will be referred to the Planning and Zoning Commission uh, for a uh, Connecticut General Statutes 824 review as requested by the Commission and Committee, uh, which is uh, Planning, Economic and Development and Housing Committee with the company resolution authorizing the transfer of 11 city owned properties to the Hartford Land Bank as part of the Lot Next Door program. Second. Motion has been made and properly seconded. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mission. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk, Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this is actually a question for uh, uh, Corporation Council. Uh, this item number nine, do we need to make a separate motion to refer this to uh, P&Z for 824 review, or that's going to be, that's automatically done? Uh, through you, Council President, that's automatically done. Thank you, sir. Thank you both. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action on item number eight, uh, which is a Planning, Economic Development, Housing Committee uh, with a company resolution adopting the city's City of Hartford Complete Streets Plan. I second the motion. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Con Councilwoman Surgeon? Uh, through you, um, Madam Council President, I just want to thank the Development Services um, Department along with um, uh, Sandra Fry for an awesome job they did in reaching out to the community and getting buy-in uh, for the complete, complete street plan. They did a great job. I want to thank them for going to uh, a lot of the uh, citywide uh, committee meetings, um, the um, going to Hartford Next, or the um, uh, NRZ meetings throughout the city, explaining to them what this plan is and getting their buy-in. Uh, so I just want to thank Development Services, all their staff, uh, Sandra Fry, Amy Chambers, for all their support uh, and getting uh, the community to take buy-in for the plan. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councilwoman Surgeon. I uh, yeah, share your, your uh, some sentiments. Great job. Is, is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mission. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action on item number 11, uh, which is Health and Human Services Committee with a company resolution requesting that the Court of Common Council calls on representatives from the Hartford Library and the Mayor's Office to provide an update on progress of this taxpayer funded initiative that the city's Office of Community Engagement provide a biannual report to the Court of Common Council on its efforts to engage, inform, educate Hartford's refugee and immigrant families. Second the motion. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I believe that there is an amendment that needs to be made relative to the um, committee's meeting. Councilman Le LeBron? Yeah, I'm sorry. My hand isn't working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I apologize about that. I, I'm, at the, I'm at my house and I don't have the best office space today. Um, the amendment uh, was the uh, an amendment uh, through you madam president the amendment was an amendment um, including uh, going away from a biannual report and um, and uh, adding and 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 the report being part of a regularly yearly part of the budget process so that amendment was um, put in I believe to the town clerk is that correct mr. clerk 
Yes. Right. So that's what is the difference um, here. And that's why it's up for action. So I just wanted to make everyone aware. So it's a change. I didn't say that well. So it's a change from a biannual, biannual report to a yearly report that will be included in the regular budget reporting mechanism. Thank you, Councilman LeBron. Councilman Clark. Thank you, Madam President. Is um, that a motion of a, on an amendment by my esteemed colleague, LeBron, Councilman LeBron? Yeah, that's a, that, is, that is a motion. Okay. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Councilwoman Bermudez, I saw your hand up. Yeah, um, for those who are following, just wanted to provide them with a little bit of context. Um, so, you know, we recognize that during, I'll make it short because I know it, it was reviewed during committee, but we recognize that during the pandemic, uh, we need more ways of staying connected, um, and especially for those individuals who's uh, who, whose language English is not the, the first language. Um, and we have a lot of representative languages spoken in Hartford. And it's, with that intent in mind, we've been using interpretation services and, and other services to get the word out to the community. And we, can, we will continue to do so, um, not just for city council, but this goes for all, all city departments. Are there any further discussions? There be a none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? And Council could you please for, for the public, I read the motion we're voting on, please. Yeah, the amendment is to change the biannual to annual reporting. Yes. Thank oh. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, Howard, for clarification purposes, so we just voted on a motion um, as amended. We have to go back to the regular item now and vote on that, correct? For you, Council President, yes. Uh, you vote on it now as amended. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. If you could call the roll on uh, as amended. Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Can you uh, I'd like, to, like to make the motion that we uh, take action on item number 16? Which is resolution requesting that the food truck ordinance adopted on June 7th be rescinded to follow for a full debate. Second. Councilman Mixtum. Withdraw the motion. Motion has been withdrawn, therefore a vote is not needed. Councilman Clark, Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we move into executive session for items number four and five which is Mayor Bronin with a company resolution requesting to enter into executive session during the council meeting on June 14th. A brief dis, uh, session is necessary in order to discuss the potential settlement of a workers compensation matter, Corey Ouellette versus the city of Hartford and item number five, Mayor Bronin with a company resolution requesting to enter into executive session during the council meeting on June 14th, 2021. A brief session is necessary in order to discuss the potential settlement of a workers compensation Matter, Rod, uh, Roderick Waller versus City of Hartford. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Sanchez? My question is after we vote on this, uh, are we going, we're going to a separate uh, link? 
correct? Yes. Okay. A separate link was sent out for executive session. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Clerk? Councilwoman Bermudez? Yes. Councilman Clark? Yes. Councilman Gale? Yes. Councilman LeBron? Yes. Councilman Mitchum? Yes. Councilwoman Rosado? Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti? Yes. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. For those who are viewing this meeting with us, we are now going to enter executive session uh, through another meeting. We will be back um, as soon as we can. Stay tuned. Thank you.
Councilwoman Surgeon. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> you guys, you're on, you're on uh, H. You're on cable X. So yes. Uh, well, you know, the community will realize how much work we have to do and how long we have to work. Well, thank you, Howard. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we, I think we're missing Nick. Yes, we are, and uh, Mick them. Uh, Councilman mixed them. Am I correct in saying this, Councilman, where Lelise, he had to leave the meeting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. Hello, uh, everyone. We are now um, back from executive session. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we come out of uh, executive session, sorry, executive session, having discussed items number four and five. Second. Motion has been made uh, and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? I have to apologize um, to the clerk because I did not send him a message that we were out of executive session. Um, Councilman Clark, do you have a way of letting our clerk? Stand by. Okay. Oh, he's there. Oh, here he is. There he is. Yeah, I can't you. hear you. I know you're probably trying to get your audio uh, together. Um, but we still can't hear you, Mr. Clerk. Can we do a test on the audio? Test one, two, test one, two. Here we go. Okay, okay. you can call the roll, Mr. Clerk. Okay. I'm uh, coming Co out of executive session. Councilwoman Bermudez. Present. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchell. <laughs> Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. You have quorum. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action on uh, item number four uh, with Mayor Bruner with the company resolution uh, to uh, on the settlement of a workers' compensation matter, Corey Ouellette versus City of Hartford. Second. Okay. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilwoman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchell. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I move to take action on item five, uh, which um, was a discussion of potential settlement of a workers' compensation matter, uh, Roderick Waller versus City of Hartford. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Bermudez. Yes. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Councilman Gale. Before we adjourn the meeting, Madam uh, President, which I, I, I trust you were just about to do, <laughs> I, I just want to note for my colleagues and for the public that at our next meeting on June 28th, uh, we're going to be joined by our poet laureate, Frederick Douglass Knowles II, um, who wants to uh, provide a, a little uh, uh, 
report to council as to what he's been doing and now in his third year as our honorary poet laureate. And I believe he's written a poem uh, that um, references COVID in Hartford and uh, some such, but I shouldn't speak out of turn because I don't, I don't really know what, I haven't seen it. But anyway, just so we all know, next council meeting, we're gonna have um, uh, a little visit from our poet laureate. That's wonderful to hear. We are uh, looking forward to that. With that uh, being said, uh, and without any other business um, here um, to address, this meeting is adjourned. Everyone be safe and thank you. Have a nice evening. And to all, a good night. Good night. <laughs>